Now, the president of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, has called on the federal government to enact a policy that would ensure support and protection for manufacturing industry in the country. Dangote made this call in his keynote speech at the opening of a three-day Nigeria Manufacturers Summit with the theme, Rethinking Manufacturing in Nigeria, which was held in Abuja on Tuesday. Dangote also advocated for a reduction in interest rates, stating that high rates stifle economic growth and development. He also maintains that Nigeria has all it takes to develop and sustain a globally competitive manufacturing sector. No power, no growth, no prosperity. So unless you have a power, you will not have growth, you will not have prosperity. Similarly, no affordable financing, no growth, no prosperity. There is no industrialization without protection. So ignoring all these facts is what gives rise to insecurity, banditry, kidnapping, and abject poverty in the land. Well, let's uh, double down on that uh, development in the comments of the president of Dangote Group, Aliko Dangote, there talking about high interest rate and a protectionist policy for Nigeria's uh, alien manufacturing industry. Join us on the news uh, is Yushu Aliu, an economist based here in Abuja, to help add value to that conversation. Thank you most kindly for joining us on the news. Uh, first and foremost, your thoughts on what Dangote had to say about the government's policy direction, especially when it comes to manufacturing. Uh, Nangote is a blessing to Nigerian economy because he has played a, a, a bigger role in organizing the system and not only giving that, advising the economic environment, the best way to handle it. So, uh, in my opinion, it's a welcome development that is coming from a president of a conglomerate. Yeah, uh, but, but if, if we double down on, on the details of some of those concerns, he did uh, point out the need for protection. What kind of protectionist policies do you think he's suggesting there uh, as far as the survival of some of these companies uh, is concerned? Because according to the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, uh, for the past couple of years, we've seen so many businesses uh, either move out of the country in terms of multinationals, and we've also seen local businesses close shop because of the stifling economic condition in the country. So what is actually on the table as far as protection for the existence of some of these companies is concerned? Uh, protectionism is an economic principle that uh, stabilizes and improves the efficiency of local production in any domestic economy. Protectionism, uh, protectionism involves for instance, looking at what we import, looking at what input we are importing at a low uh, tax rate or in some cases with, with the even tax exemption. And uh, uh, protection also include protecting the business funds by looking at monetary policy, especially as he pointed out, increasing monetary policy rate, which for a very long period of time I have, I have been advocating in different uh, media organizations that look, if we are to attract and protect our, 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 our manufacturing sector and protect our jobs and have a common prosperity in our growth, the central bank must not look at conventional models of trying to put a lot of emphasis in protecting or encouraging people to come and invest rather than protecting the existing manufacturing in the economy. Right. And, and, and let's talk about those rates. He said at 30%. It doesn't make any sense. Businesses cannot survive. He, in fact, did say that we're going to see so many job losses and we're going to continue to see so many companies moving out of the country because of the current economic climate. Let's talk about those interest rates because we've seen a steady increase from 2% uh, percent, uh, increase um, within this, the past four months, for instance, when the MPC met uh, three times uh, this past uh, first quarter. What do you make of those concerns and how the CBN through its uh, monetary policy uh, rate, is trying to address one key issue which has got a lot of Nigerians uh, talking, which is inflation, for instance. How do you square this circle? The concerns see, that CBN wants to try to rein in inflation, and you have uh, you know, perhaps the biggest voice in Nigeria's industrial complex uh, speaking about high interest rates. Let us not just uh, 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 
let, let us just uh, confuse ourselves. The important things, a role that the central bank is to play is to, is to establish price stability. And in establishing price stability, you are protecting consumers. But what is obtainable, if you take year-on-year -year inflation, 22.22% in May, in, in May last year, compared to 33.96, 95%. The in-between is about 15.4%. 0.54%, meaning that all consumers, their own capacity, their own purchasing power has been eroded. So if that is eroded, the multiplier implication of that is that they cannot be able to be buying goods that are produced because their income is no longer with them. That is the first implication. So if that is one angle, but for the manufacturers, if assuming a company A, has a liability. Mobi has borrowed a money from a commercial bank at an interest rate of 16% last year. And today, the same existing loan, he is to pay 26.75%, meaning that he is not going to, uh, particularly if you look at the low purchasing power, and you also look at the 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 cost the, of production, the, cost of production. The, the company cannot be able to to continue production and that is why some are, uh, they, they have to reduce workforce and additional burden right. the next one is to close the, the factory and go away right and and, and finally uh, clearly Dangote is one of the uh, obvious voices in 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 terms of Nigerian in the Nigerian economy uh, and his 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 position counts for quite a lot. He is um, serving on so many advisory councils that speaks directly to the president, for instance. Are you surprised that he's voicing out his concerns at such a public forum when he clearly uh, can actually uh, speak to the powers that be to, to make the necessary adjustments? Dongote is a sincere monetarist. In 2016, he advised and warned federal government and warned the central bank never to allow exchange rate the way they are planning, the way they plan, he warned that it will reach 500 naira to a dollar. And that has come to fruition. Not only 500 naira. Today, what Angote uh, 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 tried to uh, propose to the bank, they refused to obey. Now, the economy is paying price for it. And the same thing applies to this interest rate. If some of us who are understanding and studying the economic environment, advising the central bank that it is high time, you cannot, in just, in just two months, you, the first in February, 400 basis points, in March, 200 basis points, where do you want the, the manufacturers to manufacture that money and to sustain their liability in the financial institution. Mm. All right. Okay, we're going to have to leave it there for now. Thank you most kindly, Yusha Ali, for the expert analysis, and we appreciate you for stopping by on the news hour. Thank you very much. Right.